Now we will discuss a problem or a numerical which is based on the concept of escape velocity. The content in the problem is calculate the escape velocity of an object on planet earth. No value was given in the problem but we can easily find out the escape velocity. We know that escape velocity VE is equal to square root of 2 g r we will take g is equal to 9.8 meters per second square r is equal to radius of earth that is 6400 kilometers so it, we can write it as 6.4 into 10 to the power of 6 meters so now we are substituting VE is equal to square root of 2 into G is equal to 9.8 R is equal to 6.4 into 10 to the power of 6. So we can write the square root of 19.6 into 6.4 into 10 to the power of 6. We can write this one as 1.96 into 64 into 10 to the power of 6. Root of 1.96 is 1.4, root of 64 is 8, root of 10 power 6 is 10 cube. So this will be 1.4 into 8 into 10 cube meters. <coughs> Therefore it is 11.2 into 10 to the power of meters per second it will be written as 11.2 kilometers per second this should be the escape velocity of an object or any other planet or any other satellite which is on the surface of planet earth this is equal to 11.2 kilometers per second now we will discuss about the launching of a satellite The rocket or the satellite launching vehicles are called rockets. These rockets to launch the satellites, the scientists are using multi-stage rockets. The rocket is one of the best example for mass variable system. To achieve the greater speed which is equal to the escape velocity this multi-stage system is must and should to launch the satellites. Let us see the rough sketch of this multi-stage rocket system. This is the first chamber, this is the second chamber, this is the third chamber, this is the fourth chamber here the fuel will be. The exhaust of the flame which is downwards it creates a lot of force to move the rocket upwards like this the entire fuel which was in this first block or the down block was burnt completely then it will give a, such a great energy to the next level same process will be repeated in the second chamber the same process will be repeated in the third chamber finally in this first cham this chamber which is at the top there this rocket uh, contains the satellite which is to be launched in the space. So this branch contains the satellite. What we can expect from this? The mass of this rocket system or multi-rocket system is decreasing continuously. Therefore we can write this one as dm by dt. The satellites which are launched by these type of multi-stage rockets are called artificial satellites.
These artificial satellites are many types with respect to the use and coverage area. Many countries are launching these artificial satellites through the p vehicles. For our India, it is some PSLV vehicle, polar satellite launching vehicle. Like that, many vehicles are used to launch the satellites. The satellites which are launched due to this com due to this agreement, so they have many uses with respect to the different coverage area and different purpose. Now, this satellite technology is useful in many areas in our daily life. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.